Hi guys, in this lecture we want to look at the stroke of text or type and we want to look at the fill also. Like we have done in shape layers, we used a shape for example here, we had the fill and the stroke just very handy here. In text layer we don't have this. In text layer it becomes a bit more complicated and also the fill and stroke do not appear inside the timeline here. We don't have any options. We can add, I would say, some options for the fill and the stroke. We'll see that later. Okay, so what do we have here? We can add a stroke to a character. For example, if I choose this one or to a text. And uh, I've chosen a very thick font here because it's useful. I can click here and give the stroke a color. So now I have a tiny stroke. I have the stroke width here. I can increase it and I can decrease it. Now, notice what's happening here. I have uh, some special settings that I put. There is fill over stroke, stroke over fill, all fills over all strokes and all strokes over all fills. Whatever, it's a big word. So fill over stroke. That means my fills are over the strokes to a certain limit. If you increase the stroke more, then the stroke will start eating on the fill of the other characters in the world. Then you can go to all fills over all strokes and then whatever the put the stroke, it will always be above or under the fill, in fact. If you do the contrary, then all strokes will be over all fills. Of course, you come to a point where you don't see anything. This is very interesting for animations, you know, you can do quite something like you blur it up and then it becomes some letters or something like this. I'm not going to do animation, I'm just going to bring it to your attention. Now, there is the menu here if you click and you can reset the character from all this. This is not special to 2015, this exists, uh, I don't remember, but uh, uh, for very old versions, it still exists. There is the line join here. You can have mitre, you can have round and bevel. Let's put it back to mitre. In fact, the default is mitre. And let's go to this K here. You notice here it's extremely sharp. If you come to the line join and go to round, you will find it became a bit round, which is a bit nicer. It has a great effect when you are using some types, some fonts. You know, you can really use it. Then you have another one which is bevel. It doesn't appear very much, but they are trying to make it a bit bevel. Okay, let's get it back to round. I like round. And we have seen here, we have fill over stroke, stroke over fill, and all so on. So this is pretty easy. If you come to your more options here, you have the fill over stroke here. Per character palette, all fills over stroke. We'll see per character palette later on. And we have all fills over all strokes and we have all strokes over fill. So actually, this is what I'm trying to tell you here. You have the possibility to add stroke and you have the possibility to add fill and later on we'll see how to animate them. And you have the possibility to add the stroke over the fill and the fill over the stroke and all this manipulation. So that's all I wanted to bring to your attention in this first lecture in animating per character because later on we might be able to use it. Thanks very much for listening. I hope it was useful. I hope I didn't confuse you because it's just like a couple of uh, options and things will go all right with you. Thanks very much. I'll see you. In